A customer database is an area of information about customers of an organization or company where data are organized in records and fields. Excel's rows are used to hold database records and columns to fields. Let's discuss some of the key points to maintain customer database. Hello there, this is Faria Tulum from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. To maintain a customer database, users have to consider some basic structurization while creating one. We will use Excel 365 for that. You can use other available versions as well. Let's get down to the video. For better operation in maintaining a customer database, it is imperative to keep all the customers within one database. If you create different databases like that, it will be difficult to maintain all of them at once. Here we can see that in this database within B2 to J6, there are four customers and in this database B8 to J12, there are four other customers. If all of these records were under one database, it would have been easier for us to calculate further. We tend to insert entries in adjacent cells. Those entries belong to another or different records or fields. Here you can see that the record of Martin Smith. His business address is in cell D3. His city and state is added in D4. Also, his mailing address is in both G3 and G4. Now, if we notice that D4 and G4 looks like entries for another record. So, it means this kind of entries in adjacent cells create confusion. For that, we can either place them within one cell or add new columns for the entries like this database. You can see that business address, city, state are different and mailing address is all together. Instead of packing different data in one cell, we can classify them separately and create different columns for them. Here you can see names are separated in last name and first name, two columns. And business address is also separated in three columns, which is business address, then city, then state. The more the columns, the better, because your database will be more detailed. It will be easier to maintain a customer database since you can add information in a detailed form. Here we have added company tags. As in, you can classify your customers based on which type of companies they are associated with. Make sure to create a table for a database. Without a table, you can directly get pivot table, sort, filter, etc. options, but need to use them manually. Here are two cell ranges that are added with same records. The first Cell range is not formatted as a table, second one is. And as you can see, apart from cell values, it doesn't really give us that much of features. But here you can see that selecting any of the cells, you get an additional tab. Also, if you select this, you can get sort filters automatically. Even going to table design tab, you can insert slicer, you can summarize a pivot table and whatnot. Creating a table helps you to access these features faster and easily. It is better if you avoid unnecessary decorations for your database. We could add different fill colors for different columns here, or we could add conditional formatting from Home tab under Styles group to highlight cells based on different conditions. We didn't do those since those would only make you and users of this template uncomfortable to use or even see. It's important to keep that in mind when you need to maintain a customer database regularly. You can practice this 
with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to create or modify the template in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.